G'day. Today I'd like to explain to you Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek philosopher, lived in the 6th century BC on the island of Samos. He and his followers were able to work out that in a right angle triangle, this side squared plus this side squared equals this side squared. This is the hypotenuse, H-Y-P-O-T-E-N-U-S-E. -E. It's always the longer side, the one opposite the right angle. Now in algebra, we can say C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now I have an example here on the geo board and you'll see it's one, two, three, four high and three along the base. So that would be three squared plus four squared equals nine plus 16 equals 25. So c squared equals 25. We, of course, the solution to that in algebra is plus or minus 5. But because it's geometry, we don't have to worry about the negative number. So c is 5. This gives us a triangle of... 3, 4, 5. Now isn't that neat? All three are whole numbers in this case. And that is called a Pythagorean, after the man, triple. Okay, for a second example, I have a, a triangle on the geo board which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a height of 5 and a base of 3. So that will equal 3 squared plus 5 squared equals 9 plus 25 equals 34. So C will equal the square root of 34. Note that 3, 5, square root 34 is not a Pythagorean triple because the square root of 34 is not a whole number. I have a triangle now that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 high and 3 again along the base. So that will be 3 squared plus 6 squared, which is 9 plus 36, equals 45. So C is the square root of 45. At root 45 equals root 9 by root 5. So we should be really, the answer here should be written as 3 root 5. For a fourth example, I'd like to use this one. This is a height of 1 and a base of 1. It's an isosceles right triangle. So we can use our formula just the same. c squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared. 1 plus 1 equals 2, and C equals root 2.
For another example, I would like to use this triangle, which is two, a height of two and a base of two. Again, it's an isosceles right triangle. So let's apply our formula. A squared is two squared. The height B squared is two squared. This equals four plus four. This equals eight. So C is root eight. But again, your rules of indices will tell you that root eight equals root four times root two. And you see, I've seen that there is a square number underneath my radical. So this should be written as two root two. Now it will be interesting for you to compare this answer, two root two, where the side of the isosceles triangle is two, to the last answer, where the answer was just root two and the side was one. I have a worksheet, worksheet one, that you can download from my website and you'll be able to work through uh, about 15 or 16 problems involving uh, the length of the hypotenuse. <laughs>